What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Sheridan S. Davis, and I am back with yet another video. Y'all, today it happened. R. Kelly, Robert Sylvester Kelly, the Pied Piper, R&B, or whatever you call him. Some people call him Pissy Robert, but whatever. He has officially been sentenced. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. He's been sentenced to 30 years in prison. R. Kelly is like, he got to be 50. He has to be 50, if not older than 50. So he's going to be an old man if he is ever released. Um, if not, he'll spend the rest of his days in prison. And I feel a few ways, <laughs> uh, of course. I am, I, I don't feel no ways when it comes to the sentence in terms of thinking about what he has done. Um, he definitely, um, well, let, let me not say definitely, cause I don't want nobody suing me. Allegedly, um, has been a predator for many, many years. And I am sure that to some of the victims who have taken him through litigation in the past, um, although they didn't see victory in those cases, they probably feel vindicated um, in this moment. The Geronda Paces, Tiffany Hawkins, you know, people like that. So for them, I say, God bless you all. Um, I was going to name another victim, but praise the Lord. Uh, God bless you all, you know, and I hope, you know, even with the, um, Azriel and her family, you know, I hope that you all, um, feel vindicated. Uh, I hate that he has been doing this for so long. Um, that makes me really sad to think about all of the lives that has been impacted by, um, his illness, because to me, that's what it is. And it doesn't excuse what he's done. He's sick in the head, like sick in the head. Um, although he is one of my favorite artists. Uh, I have not listened to his music in a few years now because of all of this. But, uh, well, not personally. So if I go to a party, I'm from Chicago. So if I'm at a party, step in the name of love it's probably going to come on. Um, but personally, am I listening to his music? I have not in years. Um, is he still muted now that he's going to prison? Valid question. Um, I'm not sure. I pray for his children. You have to feel two ways to know that this is your father. So there is a level of love that you have for this man, but you also know that he is a predator. So, um, that, <laughs> The balancing those two feelings can be a lot. Balancing knowing who a person is to you and who they are, period, is a lot. Um, there are some people in Chicago that he has treated very well over the years. That does not negate the fact that he has been a predator. So I'm not belly aching <laughs> over him getting 30 years for being a predator, for grooming, for allegedly molesting black women, black girls. Let me stop saying black women because these cases, they were under 18 um, for at least 30 years. So I, I pray for everybody involved. I will say, I hope that he's not going to prison by himself. I think some of these parents, not all, not all, some of these parents need to be locked up right beside them. Uh, I believe moreover that the agents, booking managers, everybody that ever booked the flight, assistants, all of those people that worked in studio that saw the happenings and were able to get on national television during Surviving R. Kelly and admit to what they did and how they helped, when is their case? Because he's not the only one. And truth be told, 
there are so many more R. Kelly's in the music industry that are openly celebrating this, that even appeared on Surviving R. Kelly. I pray that your day is coming. Um, I pray that um, people who victimize Black women do have to see justice. Um, and so to the families, I hope you feel a sense of recompense. I wonder if Joyce Lynn is going to go home to her family now or if she's just so far going. Um, I'm not sure. But to every accomplice, every person who's had a hand in this, I feel like you deserve a sale as well, especially when you get on national television and are bold enough to repeat and say what you have done, to write books about what you have done. Um, R. Kelly, in terms of music, I love music. And again, I'm from Chicago. His music has been a part of the very fabric of my life. Um, It's weird that you can't hardly sing your kindergarten graduation song anymore without feeling like, should I be singing the world's greatest? Should I be singing I Believe I Can Fly? Should I be able to sing I Wish When Somebody Dies? Um, It is sad that this is the path he chose to go down. On the contrary, um, I do realize he is a victim himself. That doesn't excuse anything, but I do realize that. So may God have mercy on our Kelly's soul, baby. And um, to have already been acquitted of this and to keep it going? Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully these families feel a sense of recompense. Um, and to R. Kelly, baby, you still have life to live while you're in there. Hopefully you can atone for your sins because, oh, Jesus, it's sad to watch your legacy that you work hard for become this. It's just sad. Prayerfully, we can knock down, um, these industry cover-ups. Because honestly, Jive Records, J Records, y'all knew what was happening and y'all kept the men on. Now y'all want to turn y'all back on them because it's popular to do so. Some of the record execs deserve prison as well. Um, But if they ever do a real sweep through of the music industry, if they ever take the Me Too movement seriously in the music industry, I wonder how many artists will have left. Hmm. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. R. Kelly is going to prison, y'all. 30 years. Thank you. Uh, I'll see y'all for the next video. Bye.